Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing Today good. Today we will do mental math. Our topic is direction. Before doing any sum, at first we will see the most important thing according to direction. What are the most important things sir? There are four major directions. What are those? North, South, East, West. So these are the four major directions. These four major directions are also called cardinal directions. And there are four more directions. What are those? Those are northeast. Why this is northeast? Because it lies between north and east. That's why this direction is called northeast. Another direction is southeast. Why it is southeast? Because it lies between south and and east so this direction is called southeast another one is northwest why it is northwest because it lies between north and west so it is northwest another direction is southwest why southwest because it lies between south and west so there are four major directions or cardinal directions north south south east and west and there are four intermediate directions what are those intermediate directions northeast southeast northwest southwest okay so before doing any sum you have to keep this in mind all the eight directions okay let's go to the first sum this is sum number one. A person is standing and looking towards north. So suppose there is a person. I am drawing a person in this way. So the person is looking towards north. Where is our north? This is the north side. So if it is north side, of course the opposite side will be south. And the right side will be east and the left side will be west so the person is standing and stretching his hand on both sides then his right hand will indicate which direction if this is the right hand of the person then the right hand is indicating the east side so the right hand of the person is indicating the east direction so our answer will be east Okay, next we will go to the next sum. Sum number 2. What is in the sum number 2? A person is traveling from Kashmir to Tamil Nadu. Then in which direction is he traveling? Okay, before that, have you ever heard these two names? Kashmir and Tamil Nadu? Yes, these are the two states of our India. Kashmir and Tamil Nadu. So if a person is traveling from Kashmir to Tamil Nadu, then in which direction is he traveling? Before that, we will see our Indian map. This is our India's map. See where is the Kashmir? Here it is. Jammu and Kashmir. And where is Tamil Nadu? Here it is. Tamil Nadu. So easily by seeing the map we can understand that Kashmir is in the north side and Tamil Nadu is in the south. So if a person is traveling from Kashmir to Tamil Nadu, of course, he is traveling in the south direction. Yes? So, here our answer will be south. We will write our answer here. Okay? Next, we will go to the next sum. A next sum is a girl. This is sum number 3. A girl is traveling from West Bengal to Rajasthan. Have you ever heard the name of these two states? West Bengal? Yes, we of course, we stay in West Bengal and Rajasthan. This is also a state in India. In which direction is she traveling? So, if a girl is traveling from West Bengal to Rajasthan, let's see the map. Where is the West Bengal? Can you 
टू फाइंड इट आउट येस इट इज हियर एंड वेर इज राजस्थान हियर इट इज सो इफ अ गर्ल इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम वेस्ट बेंगल टू राजस्थान इन विच डायरेक्शन इज इज शी ट्रेवलिंग येस शी इज ट्रेवलिंग टू वर्ड्स द वेस्ट डायरेक्शन बिकॉज दिस इज द नॉर्थ दिस इज साउथ दिस इज ईस्ट एंड दिस इज वेस्ट सो If a girl is traveling from West Bengal to Rajasthan that means the girl will travel towards the west direction okay so here our answer will be west next we will go to the next sum this is our next sum sum number 4 here you can see a picture what is the picture the johnson family is standing in the middle of an open field here is the johnson family and the family is standing in the middle of an open field here you can see there are many places given what are the places restaurant school swimming pool garden church library airport playground you can easily say that the rest this is the north direction this is the south direction this is the east direction and this is the west direction because you know the four major directions so according to this we will do the following sums what is those if they want to go to a garden want to go to garden then in which directions they have to go if the family wants to go to the garden where is the family family is here and if the family wants to go in this direction then in which direction they have to move this is south and this is east so this garden is in south east so if the family wants to go to garden then the family have to move towards the south east direction so here our answer will be south east okay next by which which place is in west of them let's see the picture again which place is in the west side yes airport so our answer will be airport airport is in the west side of them next question is which place is north east of them let's see the picture again okay north east this is north and this is east so north east will be this so which place is in the north east of them yes school is in the north east of them so here our answer will be school i hope you have understood the sums next we will go to the next sum here you can see a compass is given north south east west and on the basis of that pictures of different animals are drawn you can see on the north side which animal is there polar bear in the south which animal is there penguin in the east which animal is there elephant in the west which animal is there rabbit in north east which animal is there horse in south east which animal is there giraffe in north west which animal is there owl and in south west which animal is there kitten so on the best of this picture we will do the next sums which direction of the following animals right the direction of the following animals penguin so at first we will see penguin is in which direction yes penguin is in south directions so here we will write the answer south okay next kitten when which direction is kitten can you see yes it's in the south west direction so here we will write south west next owl owl is in which direction let's see yes owl is in the north west direction so here we will write the answer north west next polar bear i can remember polar bear was in the north direction so here it will be north an elephant elephant uh, as per i remember elephant is in the east direction so here we will write at the answer east okay so this was our sums based on the directions i hope 